almost the intro to my last video, but you know, sometimes it's, it, it, it bees that way. So it is now 4.43 p.m. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You had yummy food. Everything this year turned out good. You know, I make everything good. Yes, you better Google me, boo. Keep playing around. I make everything good. Everything was good. Some years I'm like, mm, it was just okay. That was okay. No, everything I made was good. Yeah, uh, uh huh. So I am in Dallas. I drove out here this morning to watch my daughter Bobby play basketball. I made it on time, y'all. I wasn't on CP time. I wasn't on TV time. I made it on time. And why is it that the team always know when I walk in? <laughs> I guess you couldn't miss me with this big green little vest I have on here. Well, a lot of my vlogs I do when I'm heated or I'm, I feel um, passionate about something. Bobby's team was doing well. Um, in the beginning, the first quarter or the first half, they were doing really well, and they were they were had a lead. But uh, maybe it was the the side of the basketball goal, the switching after halftime <laughs> that threw them off. So they weren't hitting as many threes in the beginning. They was hitting those threes. They were they were on the money. But I guess I don't know what happened. The other part, but they all still played. In my opinion, they all played hard ball. And when Bobby came out. She just you know hugged me, put her head here. She was upset. Other people were upset, and I know the coach was upset. I think they lost by nine points. It's just at the end they were just whew, they were getting it. But I think both teams were equally good because if you think about it, first half. Bobby's team was up. Second half, their team was up. So it just went back and forth, and they just happened to be up at the, you know, the other half of the game. But the girls were so, many of the girls were so upset, you know, that they lost. And it was like, but we were right there. I mean, really upset. And I was like, but that's life. Somebody's going to have to lose. Y'all don't lose every game. You guys win a lot of games. They tend to take the stuff on themselves personally at the end of the day if you know you whatever it is that you do or whatever sport or whatever it is if you know that you put your 100 percent into what you did and you played hard i mean one person two people can't play a whole team it's a whole team effort right and somebody's always going to get the upper hand like somebody's going to be prettier somebody's going to be stronger somebody's going to be smarter you're not going to win all the time and if you're used to winning all the time what you think is going to happen when you finally lose and you don't know how to handle that that's not what life is about life is also about losing how many how many missed shots did michael jordan make tons of them but then I'm I'm praying he didn't have a coach that just tore him down all the time. You're going to lose. Watch the film. You learn and you grow from that. That, that that's that, that's it. So I'm like, baby girl, one girl, she was really upset and I hugged. I was like, uh-uh. I said, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. I said, I watched you. You went out there. You played your little heart out. She was hitting threes. Her defense, everything she did was great. Everything was great. I said, baby girl. You're not the whole team. I say, what you need to do, you need to learn your worth. You went out there and you did what you came to do. And that's what you did. And sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You are not going to win all the time. But what you need to know, if you know, once again, if you put your heart and you did your best, you have to find comfort with that. Look at the film, see where you can improve, and keep it pushing. Don't beat yourself up over that. Just like when something goes awry at school, me being a teacher. Oh, well, I know what I did. I know how much work I put in. I know how much effort I put in, how much time working before school, during school, after school. You think I'm a, say I'm, I'm a terrible teacher? Uh, absolutely not, because a student decided that they didn't want to do something or they didn't want to study or practice or something? Absolutely not. I know my worth. And that's what you young people need to learn. You need to learn your worth. You need to learn that life is not always going to be peaches and cream. When you knock down, you got to learn to get back up. Brush yourself off. Get your tail back up and you try again. You ride the bike, you fall, you keep falling. Get your tail back up and you get back on the bike. Okay, that's what life is about. And the more hardships, the more losses, it just makes you a stronger person. Baby, as many times as I've been knocked down, baby, 
I know I'm gonna get back up when things get really, really hard. I'm like, Joy, what you worry for? You know you're gonna you you're gonna you're gonna come out of this. You you gonna be fine. You always fine. I'll be like, the man upstairs always lets me know I'm gonna be fine. I might suffer, I might wave a little, I might even bend, but baby, I'm not going to break. And get it in your head, you are going to be okay. Now, if you got like a terminal illness and stuff like that, you work that out with your doctor, but still keep your positive mindset because sometimes that mindset, baby, it'll push you to the next level. It'll push you through the hard times you got to change your thinking, change the thinking. Yes, I have my moments when I'm feeling, you know, not joyful. But baby, I know my worth. I know who I am. I know what I'm going to tolerate. And don't let anybody tear you down. Have Okay, I know I'm running my mouth. But have you ever heard of somebody who's in prison? But they say, I'm not in prison because they still free up here. I don't know what they did. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. But, but you get the point. You get the point. Don't let nobody knock you down and then you thinking bad things about yourself. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold your head up high, knowing that you did your best. Now, if you ain't do your best and you just lollygagging, oof, you know, that's a whole nother story. But if you put 110% effort in there, baby, don't worry about it. Let the people who are upset, y'all be upset. But I know what I did. So I remember I was on a basketball team in college. Yeah, I go running my mouth. Listen, 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 listen. Calm down, calm down. I was on a basketball team in college. I was on there for one semester. The coach, she yelled too much for me. That, that, that made my nerves bad. I can't do that. She was just yelling all the time. Mm -mm. And so at practice, I would hit all my shots. I would do everything. And then, you know, with other people around, she started yelling and screaming. And in my head, I had a whole conversation. I was like, I know she ain't talking to me because I hit all my free throws. I did everything right that she told me to do. So she's not talking to me. You see what I'm saying? So if you know you did what you came to do, that's what you need to live with, baby. And, mm, and don't beat yourself up about it. You're not going to win everything. You're not going to get every job that you think you're going to get. You're not going to get the boy or the girl that you think you're going to get. Sometimes rejection is for your protection. I feel as though that I digressed a little bit. Up here, you got to keep this up here and you got to know your worth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to know your worth. That's why when it comes to certain things, baby, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know what I'm going to tolerate. And I'm not going to let anybody tear me down. Mm -mm. Forget that. No, life is too short for that to have somebody else giving somebody else that power to tear you down. I don't think so. You don't got the keys to my Jeep, baby. <laughs> no. my This up here, you don't got the keys to unlock that to tear me down. Mm -mm. And I'm also listening to an audio book. It's, um, it's relation Colleen Hoover. Her books are good, but it reminds me of Harlequin romance books. I, I read those when I was growing up. I'm kind of over those. But the book is good. It's called November 9th. And she was seeing someone. They were just starting to date. And then he got up saying, he was like, you're not that pretty anyway. And she had, you know, severe burn marks. And it kind of hurt her. But then she was like, no, but I know who I am. I know my worth. My, my burns don't define who I am as a person, especially up here. And she got over it very quickly. And she got her boo thing that loves her to pieces. Oh, well, say whatever you want. People probably say I'm ugly. I got ugly teeth or whatever. Go ahead and say it. I don't care. Say what you got to say. What you think that's going to hurt my feelings? Because, baby, I'm going to go right home and eat me a Pop-Tart and not even worry about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People talk about me all the time. You think parents don't talk about us teachers? Please. I'm quite sure they talk about me all the time. I don't care. I know why I got into the profession to help these babies. But sometimes you got to want to help yourself. But don't let anybody tear this down. You need to protect that. That's like gold. Let me get my tail out of here and get back on the road. Remember what I said. Mama Basil told you so. Don't let nobody tear you down. Mm -mm. You feeling all sad and stuff. Oh, well, y'all lost, and. Next, next caller, next game, I'm ready. Okay, next next challenge, I'm ready. What, what is it going to be? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm either going to overcome and work it out or I'm not. Something else will work out. But I'm not going to be sitting there sulking because of X, Y, and Z. I remember I lost a job before uh, because of a, a, a photo. Like, okay, well, I... I don't even remember when I took that photo, sir. That 
that photo was old. I took that about 10 years ago. I still wish I looked like that. You know, and okay, next school, next job, next. You think that's going to tear me down? I learned the lesson from it and I kept it pushing. I ain't even shed one tear. Oh, well, well, I ain't even have a paycheck. But I was like, it'll work out. Some will work out. I ain't even going to worry about it. I ain't even going to worry about it because you know what? He always takes care of me. I'm like, oh, Lord, Joy. You know you're gonna be all right, so don't even don't even stress or well, try not to stress too much. And then I, I talk myself through it. Talk yourself through it. Keep this up here. Don't let anybody tear that down. Don't give nobody that power. All right, I'm done running my mouth, y'all, because y'all know I'll sit here and talk to God to death, and I know I need to be back on the road. It's almost five o'clock, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll get home about nine, nine thirty. And next thing I know, it'll be Sunday, and I'm back to school Monday. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> y'all know when I start talking that mess, I be like, mm-mm. Um, but I brought Bobby some Thanksgiving food. I froze the food in little baggies and freezer bags, and I froze it. Then I put everything. When I left, I put them in another freezer bag. I put everything in a freezer bag so she could throw that out. Honey, it was still frozen. And she could have a little Thanksgiving, and she'll be home, I think, on the 18th of December. And... That'll be that. But, oh, Lord, I'm yawning. That's not good. But I made it here. Oh, shoot, I'm going to need to get gas. I made it to Dallas from Houston. It was um three hours and 50 minutes or something like that. So a little under four hours. I did not stop. I did not drink much. <laughs> and I just kept pushing. I made it here on time. First time I made it on time to a game. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here because I can see I'm starting to act a little silly. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Make sure you press the um the thumbs up. Hit your post notification so you know the next time I upload a video, okay? Um, you never know the next time I have a rent. Ooh, child, I need to color my hair. That's what I need to do. Maybe I'll do that in the morning because I don't like to color my hair and then go to bed. Mm-mm, because I will not be doing these braids. So, y'all yeah, do know I color my hair with the braids and, and I shampoo my hair. Yes, I do. Okay? And it's wrong. I'm like, damn, I feel like I just braided this hair. All of this new dick, my hair growing fast so all right y'all i love you thank you for hanging out with me listening to my rants and this and that but protect this up here mama basil told you so you hear me shoot don't play with me mm -mm. we're we gonna get through it period oh, i just made it home guys so i have driven a total of eight hours today my neck is stiff Oh, it was good to see Bobby. Now that I have calmed down a little bit. Oof. At the end of the day, you know, Bobby was, you know, upset, like I said before. But now that I had time to reflect and think about it. She was like, you know, I'm sorry you drove all this way. Because I don't know if I said this already. If I did, pretend like I didn't, okay? <laughs> And, um, I'm sorry you drove all this way to see me not play as much because she got into foul trouble early and she was explaining to me when you get two fouls, you know, in the first quarter, then you have to sit out for the first half. I don't know. She was explaining it to me. But at the end of the day, I didn't really come down there only just to see her play. You know, she missed Thanksgiving. I had frozen some food for her. I wanted her to have some uh, mama's cooking and just to see her, I hadn't seen her in a long time. So it really has nothing to do with the game, whether she lost, win, played or didn't play, just being there for her. You know, being away from home for the first time for Thanksgiving is what meant the most for me. And, you know, and now that she has a boyfriend, you know, a little part of me feels as though she doesn't need mama anymore. She go cry on his shoulders. But this, th there's nothing like a mom, you know. I remember I got hurt in high school. Ooh, I'm rambling now. I remember I got hurt in high school and I fractured my ankle. Not high school, intermediate school. And I fractured my ankle 
um and the teacher knew he was at well he wasn't at fault he made us race to get an answer from another teacher and had to race back the first one who came back with the right answer got extra points on their test whatever and i jumped down the stairs the last two steps i jumped down fractured my ankle and i didn't cry it was painful but i didn't cry i didn't cry as soon as my mom walked in the door in the nurse's office there i go i start crying so i guess it's like it's something about that mom so as soon as she saw me you know she started you know she just put her head on my shoulder and she just let it out and then she said that she misses me and stuff i don't know about that she got her little boo thing but it was still nice to feel like you know she's still my little baby <laughs> so um but it wasn't about the game, it was about seeing her. And I, didn't, I wouldn't have cared if every ball she threw up was an air ball. Or if she just walked on the court and just cheered her teammates on. That's all that matters to me. Now the academics, that weighs more than anything. You know, but she's doing great. Still has a 4.0. She's a double major. She says she's taking 18 hours, not 19. Or oh, is it 19, not 18? I don't know. Is 18 or 19? So she has a full load, but she's still doing well, still holding it down because she has her priorities right and she doesn't let um, her priorities go by the wayside. Boyfriend or no boyfriend, you gotta take care of your schoolwork, baby girl, okay? That comes first. <laughs> All right, so just wanted to close out this video for a second time and say thank you for watching if, you, if you're still here. And you made it this far into the video. I do appreciate you hanging out with me and listening to my rants. And you know how I get so passionate about certain things. And uh, you guys put up with my little shenanigans <laughs> going on in my little head right here. That needs a little color right there. That's okay. I'll get it in the morning. I'll get it in the morning. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching.